Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed uh, the clip from John Oliver. Uh, yeah, he's a little bit on the uh, sarcastic side, you could say. He definitely makes me laugh. Hopefully you laugh, but more importantly, I hope you have a greater appreciation of what's going on over there in Great Britain and what they're faced with by actually leaving a trade agreement. It's going to have a huge impact on their economy uh, as a country and an even bigger impact on trade amongst all of the surrounding countries. We saw that with just the example of the delivery trucks trying to make a ferry. If you add just 70 seconds for inspection, it could wind up producing a 60 day delay to the delivery of goods. That's huge. And it's gonna have a huge impact, mostly on small business there. Big business, corporate business, they'll find a way to overcome small business. That's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt a lot. Okay. Let's um, just take a look. This is going to be a short finish to the, the lecture videos, if you will. This is sort of the cherry on top of everything. Uh, but let's look, take a look at our final set of slides here. Um, let's share our screen first. Get over here into all our slides. Okay, so. Oops. <laughs> We talked about the North American Free Trade Agreement. As I mentioned before, NAFTA came into existence in the Clinton administration back in 1994. And it was designed to gradually eliminate trade barriers and invest in investment restrictions over a 15 year period. As I mentioned in the previous lecture video, what it didn't take into account is the rapid um, advancement we would have in technology, specifically around copyright and patent laws. Uh, companies here in the US essentially were being ripped off by some, com uh, some companies in the other two countries, and they didn't have any kind of protection uh, through this agreement. They didn't have any way to essentially go after the companies that stole from them. So the update that we've recently seen by the new administration was definitely necessary. Uh, when we talk about the European <laughs> Union, uh, the, U the EU is the world's largest common market and it's said to have a combined GDP of approximately $17 trillion. This is something that can't be emphasized enough when we start thinking about the idea of Great Britain leaving the EU. So some of the reasons to create trade restrictions versus some of the reasons to eliminate uh, trade restrictions are listed on this slide. And we can say that this, having successfully removed all trade restrictions among member countries of a trading bloc will also unify international trade rules. The EU has created that. They've created a standardized policies for import and export between the EU countries, as well as the rest of the world. The most economically significant move of the EU was the introduction of a whole new monetary system, the euro. Uh, the EU affects the global economy with leading edge approach to environmental protection, quality production, and human rights. Okay, like I said, this is just the cherry on top. It's just a little bit on top. Um, and so we got some key terms here for you guys to take and be aware of um, that we've been covering. You'll see these again in your assignments, in your quiz. Uh, as well as the discussion board, keep on top of those. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying these lectures. I hope you like the format that, that I've put together. Um, please send back feedback. If, if there's something you're not getting out of them, I wanna know, I wanna try to improve so that you guys are getting the most out of this as you possibly can, given the scenario we're in. Um, the summary of the chapter are listed now on the slides that, uh, that are flashing in front of you. Again, you're able to access these slides on campus whenever you want. So please be sure to do that if you need to. Uh, and if there's anything else I can do to help out, don't hesitate to contact me. Again, text is the best way, okay? Hope you guys have a great week ahead. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next few chapters as well. We got another one which, uh, coming up, my favorite on social responsibility. And uh, we'll have another documentary to take a look at next week as well with regard to that a good one one again this is one of my favorite chapters it's something that i think in business we need to do more of 
Uh, but we'll talk about that next week. And then in a couple of weeks after that, what we have coming up is your exam. So in addition to a chapter lecture, I'll also put together a, a brief lecture video just to prepare you on what to expect for your exam, okay? Have a great week, guys. Looking forward to hearing back from you and uh, take care. See you soon.